Okay, so hey guys, uh, we've just found out about uh, the notification that MBA CET is now going to be uh, 200 questions in 120 minutes. And the, the minute this notification came out, we got, we got at least 30, 40 calls from all our students, from all our friends. They were just calling up and telling us what should we do. And uh, I'm just here to just, to, the idea of this video is only to tell you guys about what the approach should be to this. We'll be discussing this in detail afterwards with all the toppers, but we thought just to curb all the fears and the panic that is going on outside. We thought we'd just make a short video explaining what our approach would be if we were in your shoes. So we'll be making a separate webinar or a longer discussion with all the toppers involved. But right now, my name is Anay Dave and I am going to just explain what my approach to this is. So firstly, what is the news? The news is that the, the, the timing has been reduced from 150 minutes to 120 minutes. So there's a 30 minute gap that is there. They've reduced it for 30, by 30 minutes, but they've not reduced the corresponding questions. Last year, they had 200 questions in 150 minutes. This year, as of as of now, the, the, the article says that it is 200 questions in 120 minutes. Whether this is a typo or not, it doesn't make a difference. You have to think about what should your approach to this be. So what I'd like to start off with is that, firstly, if they have reduced the number of the, the amount of time that they're given, there is a chance that the questions are going to become easier. If the questions become easier, that is great. If the questions become easier, you know you have to solve faster. You have to, you have to be quick with calculations. You have to do all of that. Now, if the questions are easier, I think the scores would be higher that way. But let's say the questions are not easier. And they put the same paper that you have right now. Like right now, if you go and open a mock, that same mock, reduce your time by 30 minutes. If you were to take that mock, if that is how the situation is, then the entire game is now on selection and your speed. CD is always a game of speed. It was always about selecting the right questions. So you have to select the right questions in which you yourself are fast. So in CD, I'll just, the basic thing is just that selection and speed. And if supposing the amount of time is reduced and the number of questions are the same, it is just about selecting those questions. It is obvious that the, num that the score that will be required to get through JB is going to reduce because people will not be able to attempt as many questions, genuine attempts that is. Everyone is going to mark randomly and attempt all 200 because there is no negative marking. But the fact that now there are lesser minutes means that the number of genuine attempts are going to be lower. But how do you manage? How do you still aim for a higher LOD, a higher number of uh, attempts? In that case, what you need to do is make sure that you are selecting the right questions and doing that in the earliest amount of time. That is exactly what I was following in my CET attempt as well. So in my CET attempt, what I used to do is I would always solve the easy questions first. So essentially, I had finished all the easy questions by the by I think 90 or 100 minutes. Once that much was done, I was done with the easy questions. So after that, whatever marks I was getting was only on the tough questions. So I think that part of it doesn't change, which is why this wasn't a shock to me when this when this news came. I thought, okay, it's not a big deal. And everyone else was panicking, giving us calls, thinking, Are this is this is the end of the world. But it really is not. You need to keep your strategy in check. And I have spoken to uh, I've spoken to my mentors. I, I have I've had long discussions with my mentors and my and the other toppers who are with me. But they all have the same logic. They all have the same logic that the easy questions are going to be done. The easy questions have to be done. Each and every topper will also agree with this that the easy questions have to be done. And the people who are going to come to the top are going to be the same, irrespective of what is going to happen, how many minutes you're going to give them. The people who reach JB are going to reach JB or who get the ranks are going to be the same eventually. What you have to do is work on your selection. So if you have to look at how you how, how you should be approaching the next few days, uh, the next few days being that uh, the mocks are going to be updated soon, right? Right now, they all the mocks will be having 150 minutes. So the mocks timers will need to be updated. And the question pattern also, like if they change something, you know, they'll be probably re reducing the difficulty or whatever they do. That depends on the, on the test center that you are with or on the test provider that you are with. But what should you do in the next few days? In my opinion, if I had to, if I had to restructure my entire thinking strategy a year ago when I was taking the test, what I would do is probably think about what are my strengths. I would go back to my mocks, analyze them thoroughly, very nicely. I would go back to my mocks, analyze it very thoroughly, go, go through each and every chapter and think, what is my strength? What is my weakness? If it's my strength, is it my strength because I can solve it fast or is it because I have good accuracy? If you've seen our mock analysis video, if you, if you, we've given you timestamps on the, in the, in the description. So if you go to Shrikant's part, he very clearly mentions that a strength is something that is accurate and in very good time, the marks per minute and accuracy. It's a combination of two things. And now this becomes even more important. Your marks per minute analysis becomes even more important because you need to check what you're getting right and what you're getting right in lesser amount of time. That is what your strength is. Everything else that is there, things that you're, that things that take too long, 
irrespective of whether you get it right or not those have to be eliminated those cannot be a part of your of the question that you are focusing on now you have to attempt the ones that are easy the ones that are easy the ones that you're getting fast apart from that apart from that the time that you have after that all of that you can you can you can spend that attempting the tougher questions but first your first strategy has to be to attempt all the easy questions and in fact now to think about it, it becomes even more important to have a better approach to these questions so early uh, so that's why our strategy shortcuts uh, our approach to the course that we have made the crash course the course that we are making that is going to help you a lot so if you're interested please do uh, text us on any of the numbers or any of the links that we've given in the description it is definitely going to be a game changer now because this makes things even even worse for like it makes it even faster to solve so it becomes very important to have the right approach to this and i am not saying this just to sell more things i am being very honest you need to know a lot of approaches and you need to know how to uh, how to solve things better calculations have to come faster reading speed has to increase you need to keep doing all these things like every day you need to keep working on these things and you need to keep a very fixed strategy in your head that the easy questions are going to be the ones that you solve first so i think that's it for now i think uh, we'll be doing a much larger webinar discussion kind of thing with all the toppers where we'll be discussing each and every section and how we go about that for example if you see logical which questions will you attempt now puzzles are obviously going to take second priority now but exactly which kind of puzzles will you attempt which ones will you not so you know things like that so we'll be discussing that with the toppers with the entire panel soon but i think for now this is uh, this is how this is this is good enough so just remember that cd has always been about selection cd has always been about selection you ask any topper you ask any person who is there they are always selecting the best questions first they are not leaving them for, they are you don't leave the easy questions to the end you do the easy questions first leave the tough questions to the end and reducing the amount of time does not make a difference i myself had left around 30 to around 20 to 30 minutes thinking that hey even if i even on the last day even if 20 minutes go to waste i still should be able to fix my seat in jb or you know at least in the top rank somewhere a respectable cd and after missing 20 minutes so they've just reduced 30 minutes don't think of it as too much think about it as if there is no reference to context to this think think about it that you only have 200 questions 120 minutes leave the last year leave that last year you had these many things what was the situation last year it doesn't matter if this is your first attempt second attempt third attempt nothing you have 200 questions you have 120 minutes today is the day you start strategizing how do you do it first thing select what you're good at after that your strategy increases and your uh, everything changes based on the mocks you take and what you do go for shortcuts think about different approaches try purchasing our course we'll have group discounts and everything as well we we are looking to partner up also with a lot of institutes and things let's see what happens with that but go for the, go for the courses because i think it's going to make a big difference to your preparation so just keep that in mind and yeah all the best i think i don't think it is any reason to panic as of now just take your time get this get the easy fruits get the low low hanging fruits first get those right nothing else makes a difference it's going to be fine it's and the paper that you are going to give is the paper that everyone is going to give so in the end your rank is going to be relative if people are attempting 150 questions randomly or whatever even if their genuine attempts right now are 150 in the paper if they are 150 that means everyone's attempts are going to be around that time because around that range because everyone's going to do similarly at the end of the day they'll mark randomly but the genuine attempts are going to stay the same so everyone in the same slot has the same paper so the rank has your idea is only to be the best in that particular thing right so everyone's going to face the same paper it's not that you are given 120 minutes and everyone's getting 150 minutes everyone is getting 120 minutes the question is what are you going to do about it so uh, i think i'll just stop with that i don't want to make this too long we'll be discussing that again so please stay tuned for that join our telegram group or uh, you can message any one of us on our instagram page is the top the underscore top underscore percentile we'll be giving you the links in the description please stay tuned to our youtube channel as well because we'll be putting a lot of content out there uh, we are planning a couple of different different things on different topics and a topic wise thing or how to strategize a lot of things we've we've kept and we've already recorded and kept in fact so please stay tuned for all of this we'll be updating you guys very soon and yeah that's about it thank you and all the best